Hey everyone! Today I've got another box of Pokemon toys. This is a really old box. I think it's gonna be all Generation 1 Pokemon. Okay, let's see. What should we get first? How about this? Here's a Jolteon in a ball. These are called Power Bouncers, I think. It's a very bouncy rubber ball. Okay, next we have a Blastoise. Very cool Blastoise. Um, you can see some Japanese and English text on the back. Okay, next we have... let's see, what can I get here? Here is a Mewtwo! When these were brand new, they were super crystal clear. But as you can see, over time they've uh, yellowed a bit. Okay, next we have a Dragonite painted on the bottom and on the wings and the face. Okay, do we have any more of those? Let's see, here's another one. A Mew! Who doesn't like Mew? Here's the back. And then we have a Poliwhirl. That's a Poliwhirl, right? It's not a Poliwag, it's not a Poliwrath. Okay, and I think there's a few more of these. I'll just do them all first to get them out of the way. And then we'll see what else is in the box. Nice Meowth. Okay, here's another one. A Squirtle. Good shell. Nice face. There is a Vaporeon. I mean, oops, 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 there's a Flareon. Sorry, I'm looking at... I'm looking over here. I'm not looking at my hands. Okay, this is a Flareon. Big fluffy tail. Nice fire Pokemon. Okay, is there... More of those. Here's one. Uh, Togepi. Um, yeah, I just got the little triangles painted on his shell. Weird face, though. He's making a weird expression, kind of. Like, I don't know, there's something weird with his eyes. Okay, here's the Vaporeon. And these. Got the Japanese stuff. Some of them don't. Some of them say Nintendo. Um, like, see the, the mouth says Nintendo. Okay, I think, I think that's all. Oh, no, there's more. Here's Charmander. Here's the front. Cute face. Nice open mouth. I like that Charmander with the I like them when they have the long nose like that. Okay, let's start out with the big plastic toys. I mean, not start out, but you know. Let's move on to the plastic toys. Here is a Charizard that his mouth... Let's, I think... Okay, this tail, when you move it up and down, it, it moves his wings and his mouth. It's pretty cool. And his feet can turn. His arms are posable. Alright, set him aside. Let's put him right there. And let's see, a Blastoise. His mouth opens and closes. I don't know if he does that thing like Charizard does. But he has these spring-loaded tabs. And I think there was some little pellets that you could put in there. I'm not sure where they are right now, but you put them in there. And then you do like this. And it would shoot them. So you could shoot little things out of his cannons. His head turns. And his arms turn. A little bit. And his feet. And he's really cool. I really like Blastoise. 
Okay, so here's Venusaur. Can't have a Charizard and a Blastoise without a Venusaur. And he's got little... This is a wind-up toy. Um, I'm going to wind up the wind-up ones at the end. Because I need to make some space. Okay, here is a Lapras. This is another wind-up toy. I really like Lapras. Really cool Pokemon. He's got wheels. And a Nido King with a really big horn on his head, big ears. His arms are posable. And he's got that standard walking toy thing on his feet. Okay, what else? Here we have an unopened Charizard Power Bouncer. He's, he's uh, sculpted pretty cool, but you can't really see the back of him because of the cardboard. That's why it's fun to open them. Here's a unopened Mew. But you've already seen that one. Oh, let's, let's just take a look at the back. Here's the back of the cardboard, the package. Here we have a uh, Charizard keychain. This is the kind that you can close it and he'll be all the way inside the ball. And this, the chain sticks out, that little hole right there. And I have a lot of these. This is the only one in this box, though, I think. Here's the uh, original set. Of keychains. Then we have uh, this is a, this is not a Pokemon thing. This should not be in this box. This is an Iwako Sushi eraser set. I think the only reason this is in this box is because I bought it at the same time as that from the same place. So I guess I just stuck it in this box. Okay, then we have a stationary set. And this is a sticker, so I'm not sure what it used to say. And we have a Snorlax magnet. Pikachu memo clip. You can see there's a clip on the back. And a Squirtle eraser. It also shows another stationary set, which is a Jigglypuff tape, tape dispenser. Poliwhirl tape measure. A Bulbasaur pencil sharpener and a Pikachu stapler. I have this, I have all these somewhere else, but not here. I'm not sure where they are right now, but I do have them. Okay, I think all that's left in here is a whole bunch of these, which two-inch plastic figures came in. They've got safety air holes in case you want to put a small animal in there. It won't. It will have air, and it's got a thing, a place to hang stuff. And those are all those are all the same. So then I'll take this out. All right, first let me wind up these things right here. Let's see, wind up this one and wind up this one and wind up this one. Oh, you're going the wrong way. Don't drop the camera. Uh oh. Alrighty. Now, if they will stop making noise, eventually I will take a look at this. This is Japanese, not sold in America, I guess, unless someone bought it from Japan and brought it here. Um. Okay, I'm not sure if this is, you're supposed to read it this direction or start here. This is probably the beginning. I don't know. That side I already opened a long time ago. Did I just show you this side? I don't know. Um, I already showed you that, I know, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so let's open this. Let's see. It's just a couple pieces of tape that I put here. 
a very long time ago. Okay, we're gonna need some room here. Stop walking. Stop walking, I command you. Okay, so what we have in this box, this is some type of game or something, I'm not sure, but let's take a look at it anyways. Okay, so here we have, here we have some kind of um, comic book type story or instructions. I'm going to start over here because I think this is the beginning, maybe. If you can read Japanese, then here you go. You can read all about this thing that's in the box. I cannot read Japanese, so I don't know what it says. I'm sorry. But you might want to look at it, whether you can read it or not. Just showing you what it looks like. And this other side is in color, full color. Nintendo Creatures Game Freak. I really like the art on this side. Um, some of it is really cool, like... Uh, let me see, where was a really cool picture? Oh, that's kind of weird and cute. And... Look at that sad Pikachu right there. And Gary Oak is having a problem. And that Bulbasaur fell over. And Gary and Ash are yelling at each other and it looks like Ash won because he's happy and get he got he got a win all right so and here is a sticker thing that I peeled off to put on something else I'll show you later in a minute okay these are it's like a thin cardboard it's it's a uh, little punch out cards there's one each of those and then there's a whole bunch of squirtles I don't know why you would want six squirtles and then only one of these, but that's the way it is. And then we have this bag here, which is all the plastic parts. Okay, the sticker from here went onto here. It's a really shiny foil sticker. Okay, this is like a, a some type of points counting tool. If you see in the thing there, it says uh, 120, I guess. can't really see. Okay, and then you click it, and it keeps going down. So I guess if you got 20 damage or lost 20 points or something, you could go 1, 2 for 20, and that's 60. And then you can go all the way down to 0. And uh, that's a pretty cute little Pikachu on the top. And you could put it on a necklace or something, a chain keychain I don't know all right and then these uh, okay this I'm not sure what it is but there's uh, six of them I guess there's two for the six squirtles two waters and then a uh, bunch of other ones for the other ones are okay and these are just these are what I I broke all the plastic parts off of the trees or whatever they're called all right, let's take a look at these. Okay, we got a Bulbasaur. These are really cute. They're like squished. And they're they're shaped so that they can fall on six sides, kind of like a dice, a die. So, you know, they can be like like that or like that, you know, d different directions. Um, here's another Bulbasaur. You already saw that one. Here's a Machop. And, um, this is a Charmander, I think, if we can focus. Come on, camera. Here's this little fire tail. There's another Charmander. Another Charmander. And another Bulbasaur. And another Machop. And here is one we haven't seen yet. It's a... Me too. You can tell by his tail. From the front, he kind of... I don't know. That could be a Abra or a Kadabra or something. I don't know. Oh, well, you can see his toes there, I guess. I guess it's a Me too. I mean, I know it's a Me too, but... It's a weird-looking Me too on the front. Because he's so squished. Me too is usually tall. And 
got a tiny head and a big stomach. All right, I think that's about all that was in this box. And uh, I'm I hope you like this video. And if you want to subscribe to see more, I've got more Pokemon toys. Eventually, I'm gonna make maybe videos of them all. I don't know. That would take forever though, because I have so many millions and millions of Pokemon toys. All right, so thanks for watching. See you later.